Okay. Um, practice guys need to be turned in, all that good stuff. We, you guys know the drill. Um, uh, if we don't finish the test today, that's fine. We'll finish it tomorrow. I need the test um, uh, wrapped up by tomorrow because uh, the rest of the week, remember, on um, Thursday, Friday this week, we have math testing. So we don't have another day in class to actually finish tests. So you have to finish it up on your own. So, uh, and then it's a perfect day because on a Wednesday, you have an early out anyway. So you have uh, you have a chance at the after school and you can kind of finish it then if need be. So, um, so keep that in mind. Um, tomorrow, we have a book check. Um, physical books with book covers. You need to have them tomorrow. Okay, make sure of that. Okay. All right. Um, other than let's see, okay. other than Mullins, what? Hanson, I know you're not taking it, so you can go go to the restroom and go take five minutes. I'll come get you a little bit. Uh, anyone else not that wasn't here for review days and whatnot? That isn't taking it today. Are you taking it today or not? Uh, can I not? Okay. Go. Okay, that means you gotta take it tomorrow? Yeah, I know. Okay, all right. I think everyone else is good to go. Just to make sure of it. All right, I'm gonna put the test up on the board, um, and then we're gonna go through the directions. Your formulas that you get are on the board. Uh, everything you see is what you get. I'm gonna hand up the test here in a second, put your name on it, and then we'll get started here. Okay, if you need a calculator, come grab one. There's a couple left over here by Frank. I'm missing one calculator still, so if you accidentally borrowed one the other day, and it's in your bag, make sure you bring it back. It's in a locker. Okay, I'm missing one. Okay, when you, when you get put your name on it immediately, we'll go through the directions all together. Uh, you have the rest of the room for your class. You can kind of work on your own. Okay, remember, hopefully you get your practice test chapter 10 turned in. Okay. Everyone's got one? Perfect. All right, let's go through the uh, the directions here. Okay, perfect. Name on it, everything, we're good to go. All right, vocab. Um, sorry, I didn't have blanks. There's what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven words you have to fill. Just right next to the, the sentences. Uh, you have a word bank that's off to the side. Pick those. Uh, they should not be used more than once. I think I only have one word for each spot. So pick the, pick the best word that uh, fits that description. Um, I think they're pretty easy. They're words that we've talked about a lot in here. That's I didn't try to pick anything weird. I just tried to pick a major word. Okay, number two, you have to name the objects for that picture. Name the objects for that particular picture. Shh. Okay, um, the big thing I'm worried about number two, use the right notation. Are you putting lines above it? Are you putting arrows? Are you putting a bar? Um, are you giving me the right number of items? Because some of those pictures ask for two items or more. Okay, there's multiple options for some of those, but just make sure they give me at least one or two or whatever it asks for. Number three, uh, you have to find certain lengths of pieces. Um, if they ask for circumference or area or whatnot, those formulas are on the board. You can see them over there. Um, number four, uh, this one you have to find the pieces that I've listed there. Those are actual segments that I want you to find. Use the directions on number four because I have a lot of numbers there that you need to use. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind. It says find each measure. That's the length of the stick. Um, it should be possible to find each of those. So they should be a number. It could be decimals. Don't, don't worry about it. But there you go. Um, number five, uh, you need to put arcs above these. So in fact, I'm gonna go up to the board just so you can see what I mean by this. So on these problems, number five, you need to put little arcs above these things. I want the actual measures of those arcs. Remember what it means when there's three letters versus two. Um, I want the angles for them. Okay, we talked about that yesterday um, during practice test days and whatnot, and if you need to, you can go back and watch those videos. Um, I made sure they were online last night after school. So, um, but again, put the arcs above as you're finding the angles. Okay, let's keep going here. Uh, number six. Number six. Let's scroll down here. I am looking for the length of this piece. Let me highlight this in number six. Um, I'm looking for this piece right here. That piece. 
um, this this uh, this uh, variable right here goes right here. It's the intersection point of the two lines. Um, so uh, you're looking for that piece. Um, I believe they give you they give you this length and they give you this whole length. So you should be able to find the missing pieces. You'll have to use Pythagorean theorem. It's on the board. It's pretty straightforward. But a lot of people are always questioning, like, what is that piece? That piece is this thing right here. That's what you're trying to find. The small chunk. Okay. Uh, hopefully that makes sense to you. Uh, on number seven. You need to put an arc above this on number seven. Put an arc above that. That is the actual arc measure. That's the angle. That's the arc. And you're trying to find uh, this angle that's listed. Should be super, super easy if you know what you're looking at. You know your properties. Don't overthink that problem. Should be pretty quick. Okay. Everyone's got those marks that they need? Okay. Let's move on. Let's talk about the next couple of problems. But we have seven and eight. Okay, uh, or I should say eight and nine. Okay, uh, for eight and nine, uh, you're trying to find the values of these variables. Just make sure that you're, you're finding the numbers, know your properties. Um, same thing with x and y down here, they're in the picture. Uh, you're trying to find those variables, the actual angles that are involved. Um, you should know some shortcuts for doing that. There's some easy ways to actually think about that problem. There's, I can think of two different ways to do that problem. It should be pretty easy. Um, same with number nine if you've been paying attention the last couple days, or pay attention in class anyway. Okay, then the back page, you guys know the drill. You're finding the angles in their certain spots. For these two, you should know your shortcuts. Um, show work on any of these problems that require work, especially the ones that require Pythagorean theorem and whatnot. Um, you should show work, especially like number 11. There's a little bit of work. There's like a small formula you have to know um, how to find that angle on the outside. Um, down here you're finding the, the segment lengths. You should know the, the shortcuts that I told you and I very clearly warned you of that on um, practice test day. Uh, how to do those problems and avoid any hiccups and, and things that I, that I kind of uh, give you a heads up on. So, uh, But there you go. Take the time. Um, remember, if you don't finish it today, you'll have time tomorrow in class to actually work on that. Okay. Questions before I move on? Perfect. I'm going to get rid of this. For the rest of the time, make sure you don't talk, um, and make sure I get my calculators back, and if you borrowed one by accident, make sure you get it back. Book check tomorrow.